All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another tutorial. I thought today I'd cover the um, sound player that I was mentioning before. So I'll give you a little demo of that now. So we'll see, I have three different buttons set up here, each with a different sound effect. And if we go into the audio system, we can actually change the volumes of those settings. So I'll turn like dialogue down to zero, general halfway effect I'll keep the same. And then if we close this, we'll see general it's a bit quieter, effect, same, and dialogue is now muted. So it's quite a useful system. Um, it can be called from anywhere, any script like this. This is just calling its own um, tutorial script that you can see here. So it just says like do stuff, and you pass in a sound type and the clip. And this can be used anywhere because it's a singleton. See, I'm calling it from soundplayer.play as opposed to doing something like find sound player or object of type sound player so we'll get into that so it all starts with this the instance which is a um, singleton reference to the object if you don't know how singletons work it's essentially this so if single if instance is null set instance to this and if it's not null then destroy it and say there's been an error it's already been set and what this allows is since it's static public and static, it can be accessed from anywhere else in the entire project. So if, if you're using, or obviously any, it has to reference the namespace, um, you can ignore that, get rid of it, I'll try and, if I upload the code I'll try and remember to remove that. Um, it can be called from anywhere, so as you can see, it, you can just press sound player and then press soundplayer.instance and do something like that. Um, but I've taken it even further, you don't have to, you don't have to call soundplayer.instance and then call the method on that instance instead. I've made the functions themselves into static functions. So we'll get into the first one, but first we'll cover this. So this is just a list of audio sources. So basically every time a um, sound is played, it creates an audio source, puts the clip in that audio source and then plays it with the various settings. There are a bunch of different sound types. I wonder if these should have been capitalized. I feel like they should have been, but I don't really know the conventions around naming enums. But these are the different sound effects, uh, sound types. So you have a, you have a uh, setting for master and music. Although in reality, maybe these should have been elsewhere because these aren't actually really sound types, and I'll get into why later. But the main ones are this: general effect and dialogue. There's me commenting in a league of memes because I've got too much free time on Reddit. <laughs> so that's what that is, and then of course uh, the. A list of sound, a list of floats, which are the volumes that the sound types actually refer to. So, as you saw, when we were sliding that general, when we were sliding the sliders up and down, it would affect the numbers in this array. So I'll go into the play function, and it takes in a bunch of stuff, but mostly it's um, their values that are defaulted, and they're just there for customization. So all you really need is the clip, the audio clip that you want to play. And then it'll take in a sound type. So when you go into it, you can say sound type dot dialogue dot effect master music etc. Whatever you want it to be. And then it defaults to general, which is just I use for UI stuff. And then you can take in a pitch, which sometimes I put between a random range, so you can sort of randomize the pitch. And then a multiplier as well, which is occasionally useful but rarely. So the vo way it works is it gets the volume first, as I said it gets it from this sound volumes array of floats. Um, it gets the type and casts it as an integer, because obviously you can't just pass in, uh, an enumerator into it. And make sure you're using the instance.soundvolumes, because you actually have to call the singleton. If you don't do that, then it will say you're trying to call a, um, uh, a non-static field from a static function, which obviously won't work. Um, then we create an audio source by adding it just to the game object that the sound player is on and then we fill in the other stuff so we set the pitch of that audio source, the multiplier, the clip and then we play it and we can ignore this for now but that's essentially it. that's essentially it, it works very simply that's how you play a sound and you can play that sound from anywhere uh, it doesn't have any sort of drop off which is nice um, you've got get and set volumes which are useful for um, this is used in the sliders. So you see, um, this is how sliders work. You need to do them with an accessor. So public float volume master just says uh, soundplayer.getvolume and soundplayer.setvolume. So that's how these sliders work. 
and the get volume is quite straightforward it just returns the volume from the instance so I didn't even really need to put this as its own thing I could just call it from there but it's fine and the set, set volume is also quite straightforward it's just as a, it's just the same as before so instance dot sound volumes and then it casts the type and sets the volume at that type to this but it also has this switch statement and this is why I was saying maybe master and music shouldn't be in this script and should be separate because really they kind of do their own thing so all master does it's never used as like you'll never say play of sound type master you'll never do that or music that's just like I can never th think of a scenario where you do that instead setting master it says if, if you are setting the master volume change the audio listener volume to that volume and what that does is changes the entire project volume so if the the, the audio listener is essentially how loud the game is if you turn that down to zero then you won't hear the game at all and the the music player is its own thing as well um, I won't get into that that's it's uh this is this is the music player it's totally separate uh, so that's how that works. We'll get back into the clear sounds to show you how I'm cleaning up the audio after. Otherwise, obviously, you'd end up with every time you play a sound, you add an audio clip. You'd end up with thousands by the end. Where it does that. So for each audio source, A in uh, the list of sources, instance.sources, if it's not playing, destroy it. So that's quite straightforward. And then what it does is if it's been destroyed, remove it from the list. So you also clear up the memory inside the list of audio sources. You can make sure, you, the only other thing you need to know is that you have to make sure you set the uh, volumes, otherwise you're calling it from nothing. So here is my, my, um, my audio volumes are set in the load function. So it's got music player dot, uh, sorry, uh, sound player dot instant dot sound volumes, and then I'm setting it and I'm setting it to, but by default I'm just setting it to like a, uh, and you can set it to an empty list of, make sure you get the size right obviously, otherwise you're going to call something that's not in the list, so enum.getValues type of sound player sound types are length, so this is how many sound types there are, that will make this sound volume just a new float with that many slots in it, otherwise you'll call something that's not there, and then it populates it, it just turns every float to 0 0.8 which is just the default um, that's how you do the populate function data manager so yeah that just these two lines just create an array with the amount of um, slots items in there as there are sound types and sets them all to 0 0.8 and then this sets them all this set this actually sets the sound player bot sound volume to that value and then when you save it on the other end you just save this I'll try and get into the data manager at some point. It's a bit more complex, as you can tell. A lot of lines of code, but quite nicely commented and quite neat, I think. At least for me. So I'll try and remember to upload this code. Uh, hopefully someone finds it useful, and hopefully the format of me going through it was helpful. I know people prefer me to write it out step by step in like its own new file, but it was quite ingrained in my project, and I'm let's face it, pretty lazy. So uh, hopefully this helps someone. Um, thanks for watching. Hey, my hairline is it's going. I'm going to have to visit Turkey soon. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.